Hi everyone. I was asked how I did the double armoured glass in the loader's gun shield. Um, I've changed the decal MRC thing a bit because it has these little cutouts down here so that when it's near the CCTV camera thing it actually can turn around. Um, so yeah, to do this, uh, make sure that you undercoat it black first because I'm using two pieces of glass, so one placed here and then one behind. It's not glass, it's plastic. It's plastic card, clear plastic card. This is 0.75. Make sure you get the stuff with the two coverings. There's a frosted one this side and this side is a clear one. It means you don't scratch it all up on your work mat. Because um, the worst thing is if you've got scratch marks all in it. It's alright when you've weathered it, you can make it look manky, but you want it looking nice when you put it in first. Um, and then you cut one out for this one, stick it in, and I stick it in with this, because this seems to work really well. A horrible thing if this doesn't work very well, I'm going to get moaned at a lot. I suppose time will show when it, time will tell. Um, and then you place another one in the back, and it makes it look like double layered armoured glass, which I think looks kind of effective. And the measurements are, Uh, the width of it is 11.5 and the length of one of them would be 16.5 I remember right so it's what's that and then the other little thing is I don't know if you it's, I might be teaching you to suck eggs but the reason I have lines on these mats is so that you can line up and you nice a straight line what you want to cut and then you line up the ruler with the other line on the mat so then you know that this is going to be a proper right angle rather than being wonky and then you gently cut through I cut that bit short actually but and then you gently cut through it and because it's got the two plastic covers, you can't really do much damage. I think I've cut this a bit short actually, but and then yeah, <laughs> it's way too short. So anyway, and then you would do two of these, and then that one fits inside because inside of here is a little lip, and then this one just pushes on. And if it's a, if it's cut correctly, it's exactly a tight fit. So anyway, that's how I did it. And like I say with this. It has two covers. You have the opaque one. Then on this side, there's a completely clear one. When you're putting this on the inside, you can keep the opaque one, make sure it's at the back, but make sure the inside one here um, is taken off. Because if you don't, and you forget, you won't get it out. I took them off of the front ones, front and back, because I'm just gonna mask this so I didn't forget. And also, I could have left the opaque one here and then cut it out with a, a scalpel, but then you run the risk of cutting, you can see a cut mark around. Um, so I didn't want to take the chance. But this one, I left on until I glued it and everything on the opaque one. I'm going to mask this one off. I took the opaque one off because, to be honest, I want to see what it looks like. Anyway, look, have a nice Sunday, and I will see you next week. I'll put some videos up, uh, pictures up of how I did this as well at the end of this video. But thanks, everyone. Have a nice Sunday. This is the inside of the gunner's shield. Can you see there's a lip which the glass or the plastic, clear plastic, will glue up onto. Um, so it fits in there quite snugly. This is the star glue that I use for the, the nail things. It seems to do the job. If it doesn't work and it starts falling out, it's entirely my fault, you can blame me. Here's the glass or the plastic cut to the exact shape. Make sure you test fit all four pieces, which is ever snuggest because that each side is ever so slightly different in shape and you want them to go in nice and snugly so you don't really need a lot of glue and it does the job that way much better. Here it is undercoated. Now remember to black undercoat it because otherwise when you put the glass in it will be white inside and you won't be able to paint it. This is the first piece of plastic glued into the inside where the lip goes around. So that's the inner piece which is the outer front of the guard of the shield. And then this is me taking the protective clear plastic off. You must remember to take this off because if you don't, you won't be able to get it off when the other glass is in. And this is the second piece of glass, if you can see pressed in at the back, 
and it's glued in ever so slightly but press fit because it's a very tight fit and also then when it's painted the it'll help hold it in as well um, and that's it from the front so it gives that effect of a double piece of bulletproof glass and this is it finished um, with the uh, both sides inserted and the gap in between them so a nice piece of double glazing look have a nice weekend and um, hopefully this will have some black paint on next week so I've just finished all of the masking of the lenses and everything so I'm going to get the old uh, chaos black out again <laughs>